And to talk more about the space program of China and other nations, I'm joined now by Leroy Chow, a former U.S. astronaut. Welcome back to the show. Great to be back. Leroy, is it fair to say that when it comes to space, each country has its own set of goals and priorities? What is China aiming for? You know, what they're aiming for may not be what Russia is working on. Well, I mean, you're right. Every country does have its own specific goals for a space program, particularly a human space program. But uh, if you take a step back and take a look at the bigger picture, the first and foremost reason a country gets into the space flight business, especially the human space flight business, is for national prestige. And so China is no exception. It got into the game uh, a few times over the past several decades, and then finally uh, launched Yang Li Wei in 2003, which is a, a big deal. And then they've subsequently gone on to more and more complex missions, including Zai Zigang's uh, EVA back in 2008, and then uh, Tiangong-1, uh, the Tiangong-1 missions that have been going on over the last couple of years. And then later this year, uh, they're going to launch another Tiangong module and another crew. So China is steadily progressing, and it's been uh, impressive and interesting to watch. We do know that there is collaboration between space programs. Uh, we just take a look at the International Space Station, for example. But what would you say is the percentage of cooperation versus competition? Well, as you pointed out, the space station program has been a huge success, the International Space Station program. And one of the big successes has been bringing all these countries together to work on the most audacious uh, uh, engineering project ever in space, construction project, and it's been hugely successful. Um, and I would look to bring, expand that partnership for future exploration programs to include China. Uh, that's my personal opinion, but uh, I think it's the right thing to do. Well, talk to us about that. Uh, why is it by U.S. law the United States cannot work with China on space issues? Is this something that could change in the future? Well, that language was inserted into uh, uh, certain uh, pieces of legislation pertaining to NASA by um, you know, former, former congressmen and current congressmen who supported it. And so NASA is forbidden to spend any money to cooperate with bilateral relations with China. We can participate in multilateral collaboration. But if you take a step back from that, the U.S. laws are such that nobody, no citizen of the United States is allowed to uh, even discuss any kind of aerospace technology or know-how with any foreigners and, and kind of especially with China. And I think this has to do with a, a certain... Uh, you know, phobia of China, I guess, or a concern about China, which in my view is unfounded. But uh, unfortunately, that was kind of the emotional uh, response by certain members of the U.S. Congress. And so that has persisted. And unfortunately, that perception persists. And, uh, you know, all we can do is try to work to uh, put people at ease and see that cooperation works. We do cooperation with Russia. Uh, you know, nobody can say that, that Russia has not tried to spy on us and is not trying to spy on us and all the other things that are said. So it, logically, it really doesn't make sense. It's really more of a, an emotional issue, I think. Sounds pretty outdated to me. Uh, Leroy Chow, thank you so much. We appreciate your insight. Uh, my pleasure. Good to be with you.